What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight we're gonna be doing another tire swap. Summer tires come off, winter tires go on. Yeah, got a whole fleet to do out there. Actually, we're uh, almost done all the winter tire swaps. The only ones left right now are uh, we're gonna do my mother-in-law and father-in-law's vehicle tonight. Uh, it is a 2017 uh, Chevrolet Trax, so pretty similar to the Buick Encore my wife has. And I have it sitting outside, ready to bring it to the garage. I have the uh, pre-mounted tire package sitting right there. And I'm also gonna show you guys how we program the TPMS uh, system on that vehicle. And uh, I have a little tool that I bought off Amazon uh, I don't know, probably two or three years ago. Works fantastic. I'll walk you through that and how to put the uh, Chevrolet tracks into the uh, TPMS learn mode. And uh, that's about it for now. So uh, why don't I go outside and grab the car and bring it in and let's do some tires. Yeah. I need a hoist. I wonder if my wife would ever entertain a hoist. I'm not sure about that because, you know, they are expensive and I don't really have the room. But I think I deserve it. Wow, well, that's just. All right, in my last video, we talked a little bit about directional tires. And again, these are directionals. They have a rotation. So if you look right there, you see the arrow shows it rotates this way. And that is so the grooves always go this way. So this would be a passenger side tire. The grooves are going the opposite way. This would be a driver's side tire. Again, rotation goes this way. So this would be a passenger side tire as well. So in my usual fashion, I am going to clean. So in my usual fashion, I am going to uh, remove the rust from the inside of the wheels. Always something I do now. I mean, do it, don't do it, entirely up to you. I like to have a nice clean mating surface. Uh, that way there, I'm confident that uh, there's not gonna be rust buildup in between the wheel and the hub or the mounting surface and uh, it won't get loose, so. Call me paranoid, call me, please don't call me anything, let's do it. get started on the uh, tire swap on this car uh, to show you guys what I've done is I've uh, gone ahead and I purchased some wheel nuts and that's the part number right there and, uh, because what ends up happening is that uh, these wheel nuts they get corrosion inside so this is a brand new one they get corrosion inside of the cap and water gets inside and then uh, with the impact uh, it tends to damage the nuts and it spins the aluminum cap off the top of them so I uh, there's a few damaged ones on this one so we'll be replacing them tonight and uh, the part number is 9598708 if you guys are looking for wheel nuts for your tracks. Let's get at it.
a really cool little tool I bought on Amazon. Uh, it's the program TPM sensors on uh, most GM products that I'm aware of. Now, I'm not sure if it does any other manufacturers. It doesn't really say. Uh, I'll post the uh, link in the description below for you guys. I think I paid, this one here was uh, $24. There are so many of them online right now that, uh, I mean, your choices are endless. And I think I've seen them as low as $17. That's Canadian, of course, but uh, cheaper in the U.S., I'm sure. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to program the TPMs with this guy. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to get this vehicle into programming mode. It's pretty simple. Uh, I would imagine it's probably like this for most vehicles. Uh, it's pretty simple, matter of fact. So we're going to turn the key on. All right, so we've turned our ignition on, and now we're gonna go over to our menu button right here. We're gonna make sure that we're on the vehicle. So currently we see remaining oil life. We're gonna use the up arrow to scroll through the actual uh, menu. And then here we see the tire pressure from the summer tires that are no longer on it. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to push and hold the button. Here, let me show you guys right here. So we're going to push and hold this button here to get it into programming mode. So if you watch closely. So now it's going to ask, are you sure that you want to relearn the sensors? The answer is yes. So we're going to go scroll up once for yes. And again, we're going to hit the button on the side right here. And now we've heard the horn honk and I'll show you guys what it does. So what it's done now, it's illuminated the driver's side turn signal and none of the others, as you can see. And what that indicates is that the system is ready to learn the driver's side front tire. And that's how you get it into programming mode. So this procedure is pretty easy. Here's the tool that I just talked about. We have our turn signal light lit up. We find our valve stem. Our valve stem is here. We hold the tool perpendicular to the valve stem, press the button once. Now the horn sounded, and the reason why I did that, if you notice the turn signal went out on this side, is that the vehicle is telling us that it is ready for the second learn. So now it's directing us to go to the passenger side. So we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. There's our valve stem, hold our tool nice and close, press the button and release. Now that one is out. I'm gonna walk around to the back. And now we notice that the right rear turn signal is on, indicating that this sensor is ready for programming. And do the same thing. Now we're gonna move over to the opposite side. That one's all ready to go. Now, once this one is programmed, we're gonna hear the single beep and then the double beep is gonna tell us that uh, the programming is successful. All right, we're done. And that, my friends, is how simple it is to program the TPM sensors on a Chevrolet Trax with this little beauty right here. Okay, now that we got everything done, I just showed you guys the tool. We just programmed the sensors. Now we can go around to all the wheels and we can remove uh, the little stickers I put on from last year. If you notice, I put little stickers uh, indicating as to what tire this, uh, th this actually was. So last year, this was the right rear. And what I've done is I've put it on the right front and I did the same with the left. So I'm gonna go around the car. I'm gonna remove these stickers and I'll see you guys in the back. All right, guys, here we are. There's our tire pressures. So you see, I got a little bit of adjusting to do. I'm going to go and do that adjustment and uh, we are done. I'm just going to put this back for the mother-in-law and father-in-law. I know my wife hates it when I play with her stuff. There we go. Speedometer is back in place. What do they listen to? Oh, listen to the, uh, looks like uh, oldies. Nice. Any change? Damn. No change. Oh, well.
No change in there either. That guy's got to look, right? Anyway, guys, just joking. Uh, that would be the end of the, today's video. So uh, what did we do? We brought the vehicle in. I removed the summer tires and I installed the winters. And uh, we programmed the uh, TPM sensors. And uh, it was all pretty simple. I'd say it probably took us about 25 minutes. Showed you guys the tool, showed you guys how to get it into programming mode. Now I'm sure that that is uh, common for almost any manufacturer. You know, you find those settings uh, in the DIC and or uh, some of them are, some of the older models, you have to hold the lock unlock button um, until it goes into programming mode. But we'll show you that one on my Avalanche. It's lock unlock button to get that one into programming mode because it's an older vehicle. But besides that, a lot of fun. Everything went smooth, nice and easy. Uh, nothing was seized. I only had to replace one wheel nut, so that was lucky. Now we got some spares. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I got some more tire change videos coming up. Uh, if you still want to watch me change some more tires and suffer, by all means, stop on by, check it out. Anyway, thank you again very much. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like what you see, tell your friends. I'm going to go look for some more change. I don't know why I'm sneaking around. I'm the only one in the garage. I could rip through this sucker. <laughs>